It's time. Get down, get down, get down. Time to get down. Sir Jonathan Burton on his back track. Are you ready? Let's start the show. Preston Brown is in the house. He's ready to go. Now he's got the music. Music. Welcome to the Famous Brown Show. I'm your host, I'm Preston Brown. And I'm uh, going to do a little something different tonight. A uh, lot of mess going on in Richmond. A lot of shootings. And every week I come on, I play some nice videos and stuff. But it's been itching at me every week that I should take some time doing the show and just talk to people because we don't really have uh, a s spokesperson who is not afraid to stand up and speak the truth and who is not afraid to address issues and that we should be made aware of. So each show we're going to go into, I'm going to do a segment. This is what I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it Chit Chat with Famous Brown. And every show is going to be uh, honest conversations. And I'm going to be talking about interesting people. I'll be bringing guests on. And every show is going to be something different. And we're going to talk about everything from music to how to start your own business, how to write a book. We're going to talk about health issues. We're going to talk about anything that you may find interesting. All you got to do is let us know. But tonight, on tonight's show, uh, I'm going to kick the first show off with uh, talking about Southern Soul music, which I love Southern Soul music. And I play it every Saturday night on 101.3 FM. You can see it on my hat. And uh, that's from 7 to 9 o'clock. And then Sundays I come back and I do a gospel show. But well, I have a very deep love for Southern Soul uh, music. And people may say, well, what, what kind of music is Southern Soul music? Well, Southern Soul music is today's extension of the classic rhythm and blues as it was played and appreciated back in the 60s and the early 70s and it's still really being played now uh, mostly on a lot of uh, stations down in the south and southern soul stars you'd be surprised now they consider uh, singers like Sam Cooke, Tyrone Davis, Johnny Taylor all those are really considered oldest reading they are now considered Southern Soul artists. So um, what I'm going to do now, let's do this. I'm going to show a clip of some Southern Soul artists of yesterday. And then we're going to show some clips of artists of today. And then I want to come back and I want to I talk a little bit about the Richmond Free Press. Some articles that I see in Richmond. Free press that I don't. I just think somebody needed to talk about. It. So we're gonna take a little break. I'm giving me a bowl of kale, some smoked turkey, and I'm coming right back. This is the Famous Brown TV show, and this is Chit Chat with Famous Brown. Be right back. Get on your feet. You make 
me nervous when you're in your seat. Take off your shoes and pack your feet. We're doing a dance that can't be beat. We barefootin'. We barefootin'. We barefootin'. We barefootin'. Went to a party the other night. Long tall Sally was out of sight. Threw away a wig and a high sneakers too. She was doing a dance with no me.
Y'all got back too fast. I didn't dig <laughs> I didn't get a chance to eat all my kale. Now this is fresh kale. Didn't come out of the supermarket. Came straight out of my garden. I grow I grow my own vegetable here. One thing about when you're growing your own vegetables, you can taste the difference. Even down to tomatoes, cucumbers, squash. I got all that growing in my garden. It just, the freshness is just different. And I don't put any chemicals on my garden. It's straight. So it's real easy when, it, once I, when I go out in the morning and I pull it, wash it off, I can good cook it. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. It's so good. These greens are so good. Look at that. I hate to eat them on TV. And not only they're so good, they're good for you. No, I had a history of eating a lot of pig feet and chitlins and stuff. And I paid for it too. I had to look, see how they cut me, cut me all the way, all the way down here from all that pork and stuff I was eating. And when it happened to me, I couldn't figure it out. Because I never drank, I never smoked, didn't do no drugs. And here I was laid up in the hospital. And I found out it was from what I was eating and how much of it I was eating. So now, I season my greens with smoked turkey, which is great. But before I had my operation, it had been some ham hocks and these greens. But every now and then, I get an urge to eat some pig feet. And uh, I don't know, I might eat some one night on TV. Right, right now, I'm trying to put good stuff in my body. You know, when you put so much bad stuff in your body, sooner or later, it's going to tell on you. So, all these years of eating all that pork. You know, you remember, y'all old folks will remember this. When you was growing up, and it was a Crisco can on the stove, and I don't care what you cook, if you, if you fry bacon, the grease went in the pan. If you cook the hamburger, the grease went in the pan. I don't care what you cook. Pork chop, whatever you cook. The grease always go in the pan. And the old folks would tell you, shoot, don't throw that away. That's seasoning. And it was seasoning. It was good seasoning. But also, it was good enough to clog up my arteries and would probably clog up yours. So just, just be careful what you eat. But let me talk. I hope y'all like the video I showed just now. I want to talk to black people. <clears throat> White people, y'all can listen. But this is going out to black people. I picked up three issues. That's three weeks of the Richmond Free Press. And every week, they got some kind of article about a cemetery. This one here, they, they put up a cemetery and a, a plaque. And why are our black leaders, not all black leaders, some of our black leaders, more interested in a cemetery than to bring economical growth to the black community? Excuse me. I can't resist. Car green like this. But why can't you come up with a way to teach our youth skills 
and different types of trades or give the youth something to do when they're out of school, especially during the summer month to keep them out of trouble. Now I want to commend uh, Supervisor Tyrone Nelson for what he did at Fairfield Middle School. They fixed the uh, outdoor basketball coat and I think they keep the lights on until 10 o'clock at night so they can help keep some of the kids off the street which is a good su suggestion. But when I was coming up, you know, it was a pleasure to go to the playground at, in the summertime. I think back then they turned the lights off. It may have been 10 o'clock, but it might have been 9 o'clock. But everybody would go and be at the playground and nobody really got in trouble because we had something to do. But kids don't have nothing to do now. And then you wonder why there's so much trouble. And then we don't have nothing to, to show them. And, and they play on games all day long. Everybody's got, a, got a, a game or either on the phone playing a game. But we need to build some skills and some trades and, and instill that in some of our youth. But I want to I want to commend Donald McGeechan and then I don't want to commend him. In this article in the Free Press He's given VCU nine 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 six. That's almost a million dollars. Nine hundred and ninety six thousand dollars to work on program against gun violence. And then on another page, he found four hundred thousand to give to VCU. Uh, to do a study, let me see where I find that at. To do a study on how would they call it? Uh, high quality early childhood educational programs. We will commend Donald McGeechan for giving VCU over 1.3 million dollars. But what upsets me, or it don't upset me, and I could be wrong, is what have you done for Virginia Union, Virginia State, Hampton University? What grants and money have you got for them? Now he could have done it but it hadn't been publicized, so I don't know. But what I'm saying is, you're proud to give $1.3 million to VCU, and VCU got plenty of money. When your black university don't have that kind of money. And why they couldn't do the program, do the study? That's my question to you. And not only that, is his wife is the Commonwealth Attorney, and I want to commend her for being the first uh, black female Commonwealth Attorney. But then I don't want to commend her because I think, and I've heard it, and I can't be sure, but I did see one case where I don't think she treated that black person fair. Now, there could be other cases. I don't know. If you know, let me know. But I know one case where they had this detective out of Chesterfield named Spouse. And Chesterfield caught, caught him being dishonest on criminal cases and with evidence. So the Chesterfield County judges said, you don't know how far a lie will go. A lie can go a long ways. So they dismissed all the cases and they fired him. He had one case in Richmond. One case that he lost in Chesterfield, got dismissed in Chesterfield. So he convinced the detectives in Richmond to take on the case. And he's the lead detective on this case. And Miss McGeechin, McGeechin wouldn't throw it out. Wouldn't throw out. 
If you caught lying in one courtroom and you're a police officer, you have already gave the mistrust of the community by being a police officer and, and swearing, taking an oath, and then you caught lying and stealing, and then you come into another jurisdiction and they say, well, you lied in Chesterfield, you're probably all right up here. That ain't, that ain't right. And the case is coming back up uh, sometime this month. Healthcare Staffing of America is looking for heroes just like you. We're now hiring LPNs, RNs, and CNAs. Apply today at 804-597-0123. Full-time, part-time, and per diem shifts available. Weekly and overtime pay. Daily restrictions apply. Plus quarterly bonuses. Health, dental, and vision insurance included. Plus a whole lot more. Healthcare Staffing of America. 804-597-0123. Or go to Healthcare Staffing of America. Summer can be a difficult time for families of youth with behavioral issues. Many kids just can't make it in a traditional summer program or daycare. There is an alternative for elementary and middle school students in the city of Richmond. Call Ms. Thomas today about the Metropolitan Day Summer for 321 2595 Structured activities, therapeutic groups, and enrichment activities including recreational field trips, swimming, martial arts, and more. Breakfast and lunch included. Don't hesitate. Metropolitan Day offers small groups and there will be a limited number of slots available. Call Ms. Thomas to see if your child is eligible. 804-321-2595. Metropolitan Day School, where eagles soar. 804-321-2595. Individual and family counseling is also available on site and in the home. Metropolitan Day School, over 30 years of helping families just like yours in the RVA. Okay, we're right back. Those greens were good. And I think we're just about out of time. And uh, I have a new producer, Miss Kim. She's going to get mad at me tonight because I don't went off script. She had planned out the show for me, and I, I got away from the show, and I went on where I wanted to go. But before I, I leave, I want to say my commitment to the community and my commitment to myself is that every show I will say something about the one casino and resort entertainment complex. And what I'm saying to you, and I mean it deeply from my heart, that they really mistreated uh, Miss Hughes on this casino deal. People are trying to say that <clears throat> a lot of folks didn't want it. Look. It was a million dollars spent. Folks in the community that don't want some is not going to spend no money saying they don't want it. Somebody, some company, some organization put up that money to fight that casino. And I don't know if they mad because of the statues being taken down and they don't want a black woman to uh, be the developer in a casino. I don't know if they're mad because she's a woman. And for those that don't know, the state of Virginia made passed a law where they wanted five casinos in Virginia. And they are Norfolk, Portsmouth, Danville, Briscoe, Richmond. Four of the casinos are being built right now. And the only casino that's catching a hard time is the casino being built by a woman, number one, who happens to be black. And what I'm saying to you, you take a good look at it. Is it fair? Is it right? Why they don't want a black woman to build or be the developer on a casino in Richmond? Some folks, one of the things that they petition, they say, well, it's going to hurt the poor. Now they want to carry to Petersburg. How poor do you think the people down Petersburg? If you want to see some poor folks, go down to Petersburg. So it won't hurt the poor people in Petersburg, but it'll hurt the poor people in Richmond. Now, come on now. Give it up. When the last time you've been to a casino? Have you ever been to a casino? Have you ever seen any poor people in a casino? No. No. Mm -mm. 
When you go in a casino, you go there for one purpose. Either to win money or you're going to lose money. But it takes money to walk in that door, number one. And most people don't mind taking the risk to try to win some money. Nobody complain about the lottery. Look how much money the lottery takes in in the poor communities, poor neighborhoods. But they take it in all the neighborhoods. But they got a lot of lottery machines in the poor neighborhoods. And on that note, I'm going home. That's the night show. And remember, everybody got a story. And that story can be heard right here on the Famous Brown Show. So if you got something on your mind, if you want to chit chat, you want to talk about an issue, you call Famous Brown. See you next week. This show has been produced by Kimberly Ocasio and Famous Brown Production. Peace. I'm out of here. I'm going to give me some more. Kale. Southern Soul Blues Celebration featuring blues showstopper Omar Cunningham. Omar Cunningham. If you know the place, Mr. B's Park, 7243 Gatewood Road in Woodford, Virginia. The center of the Southern Soul Universe with Omar Cunningham and special guest Central Virginia's own Big G and the Fly By Night Band. Plus, the one and only Jeff Floyd. General admission tickets only $35 at the gate. Showtime, 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. RVs are welcome, no tent. you got to be 25 and older to enter. For ticket information, call Queen at 804-389-3558. Come and party with Omar Cunningham, Big G, and Jeff Floyd, MC Dr. Nick, and MC Miss Tanya. Miss Southern Soul. Saturday, August 27th at Mr. B's Park.